Hello and welcome back to Tutoring Success, my level 7 pioneers. Today we are going to be learning about how to find the equation of a straight line. So on our first question here, the statement says the diagram below shows a straight line. The straight line passes through the coordinates and then they are giving us coordinates A and coordinates of B. The equation is find the equation of line AB. So how do we go about finding the line of AB, right? So as we all know, this is our is our general uh, formula or standard formula for our um, for our straight line, right? So I'm going to link a video where I'm going into deep de details of what does this mean and, and, and what does that mean. So X and Y is just our coordinates, right? And M is our gradient, right? And our C is our constant, right? So our constant is just a number. So how do we go about finding the equation of a straight line? So what we must have first is our gradient, right? So the gradient of AB is equals to the Y coordinated A minus by the Y coordinated B. And our X coordinated A minus by our X coordinated B. So what is our Y coordinate at A? It's 7, right? And our Y coordinate at B is negative 2. Divided by um, our X coordinate at A is negative 5. And our X coordinate at B is 1. So what do we, uh, what are we going to get? So 7 plus 2 is going to be 9, right? And minus 5 uh, plus minus 1 is minus 6. And then our final answer is going to be negative 3 over 2, right? So you can simply just punch your calculator from here, my level 7 pioneers. Then you are simply going to get negative 3 over 2. So we go to our standard formula. We are going to say y is equals to mx plus c. y is equals to, we know our gradient is negative 3 over 2, right? x plus c. So in this step, we are trying to find our c. What is our constant? So we are going to substitute any point that is on our straight line. It doesn't matter if you substitute a or b. So I'm going to substitute uh, the coordinates of b, right? So our y is going to be negative 2, right? Negative 3 over 2, which is our gradient. And then our x is 1 plus c, right? And then we are going to be left with negative 2 is equals to negative 3 over 2 plus c. And then we are going to transpose. Then our c is going to be 3 over 2 minus 2. And our answer is going to be negative 1 over 2. You can simply punch your calculator from here, guys. And after getting your constant, right, guys, you are going to come back to this formula, right? You are going to come back to this um formula or step and then we are going to substitute our c so our y is you can say therefore our y is going to be negative 3 over 2 x negative 1 over 2 so if you want to prove if your straight line uh, equation is correct you can substitute our a coordinates here you should be getting um uh, negative 5. Let's say you are going to substitute negative 5 on our x and then you punch it on our calculator. It must give you 7. If it doesn't give you 7, that means you made a mistake somewhere. You need to start afresh, right? So on to our next question. Okay, on our second and last question, my level 7 pioneers, we are given a, an equation, actually, our, our straight line equation, right? And they are saying we we must find the coordinate of B. So we must use our straight line equation to find our coordinate, right? So if you're having any question, guys, please don't hesitate to post it on our comment section below. And if this video is available so far, please put that like button. So how do we go about finding our, our B coordinate, right? So we are given our, our straight line equation, which is negative three over four, x negative 2 right 
So since we are given one coordinate, which is our x coordinate at b, right? So we are simply going to substitute our our x coordinate. So it's going to be negative 3 over 4 multiplied by 4, right? Because that is our x coordinate at b, negative 2. And then after this, guys, you can simply punch your calculator. So here you are going to be having negative 3 and negative 2 and our answer is going to be negative 5 and then you can conclude by saying therefore our coordinate or our point b is 4 and negative 5 so we can trust negative 5 because our our y coordinates uh, on our fourth quadrant are negative right so Let's go to our next video, guys, where we are going to be dealing or explaining uh, a lot more about our angle of inclination. So on to our next video.